Hey folks, it's Amanda. The kids next door are really having a good time. <laughs> They're a little bit annoying, but I don't want to bitch at kids having fun like we used to when we were. Like, Jesus, at least they're not in the uh, house playing video games, right? So, um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about my 2240 that I just built. And show you some of the interesting things about it. Um, I actually lucked out and I got a, when I ordered this barrel, I don't know if they made a mistake. I think they did. They sent me a, a Walther Lothar barrel. Lothar Walther. Anyway, it's a beautiful barrel. Uh, the crown on it's quite nice. Uh, but I'm going to flip it around and then uh, talk to you, point out a couple of things about this. So, <clears throat> first of all, this is a flip, a muzzle flip. And with a 10 inch barrel, if I would have brought it to the end, I would have ended up with like more like a 13 inch barrel. Um, this is a very unusual flip. They used to sell it on GMAC, but man, GMAC is sparse on parts. Sometimes they have them, sometimes they don't. You have to keep going back and checking and checking and checking. Um, that's a little, uh, not really little, but it's a uh, brass uh, barrel band. If you look, what's unique about that is where the grub screws grab it, they don't grab the barrel in the bottom. So it's a little bit smoother. And of course we got the brass CO2 end and the brass breech and a beautiful little uh, bolt. And I'll sit there trying to actuate it for you guys, but it's kind of hard to do one-handed. Not impossible. Um, boy, the kids are having a good time next door. Um, anyway. I'm really pleased with the build. Like I say, um, in my other video, you can see this is a smooth tube. There's no stamping. There's no uh, etching. <clears throat> very, very happy with the whole thing. I can't complain a bit. Oh, so the reason I did this, you can almost see the lands and grooves in the barrel, right? <laughs> Anyway, enough of that. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. So, this normally would be stuck out here and would have given me another two inches. So, this would be at least a 12 inch barrel. And it gets a little bit long that way, you know. Uh, 10 inch barrel is perfect. So, uh, I just butted it up and made it look uh, like it was one piece. Both nicely, smoothly polished. Goes along with the silver and brass everywhere else. It's like I meant to do it or something. And I think you might have seen. Careful, people. I'm pointing the gun at the phone. Not at my head. Okay. <laughs> it's at the phone. The phone's off to the side. <laughs> A lot of people freaked out last time. And then there's my red dot with the little Rubicon coating. Very pleased with it. Very, very pleased. And you cannot gripe a bit. Came out, uh, I don't know, nearly perfect. 